Hi everyone, this is a update of my uh, Gobo uh, motor experiments and tests and uh, maybe we can start again with our battery and our source uh, power is this uh, 1.5 volt uh, D cell battery and uh, it's feeding my capacitor bank uh, meter here and as you see that's the voltage across the uh, battery and that is the amount of milliamps being used 13 milliamps at that voltage and that's being fed uh, here and what it's going through the positive through the uh, read switch here that's being activated by the four magnets on this uh, hard drive disk platter and the negative is coming there and going directly to the coil and what I have now is a uh, toroid uh, core uh, that's uh, ferrite and I don't know, just bought those off of uh, eBay and nothing very special about them they're just a regular ferrite toroid um, but I've done something very special here with my coil and if you have a close look here you'll see there's a bit of a split point here and a split point right there. This uh, section of the toroid is wound with five layers and this is about um, 28 gauge uh, enamel copper wire and um, what I did is I wound this side here uh, clockwise and then this other half side I wound that counterclockwise and I wanted to do some experiment with uh, the coils coming together but in a reverse order so this one would be like a south pole a north, uh, maybe a south and this one would be like a north or just experiment what would happen uh, I've been doing experiments with uh, generator coils and I've uh, found that when you flip one coil over the other and they're connected in parallel uh, you get you know a cancellation of the uh, of the uh, back EMF and uh, so I wanted to do experiments like that and somehow I had a feeling this could be the uh, secret behind the uh, Orbo uh, coil and uh, I must say I'm getting some very uh, interesting results and things that are very similar to the uh, Orbo. Uh, right now, like I said, I've got it uh, connected here and I also have this yellow lead here is collecting the flyback on the uh, negative uh, feed here and the positive lead here is going as well to the flyback collection which is happening in this capacitor here and that's a 30,000 microfarad capacitor and I have a uh, 1k ohm resistor on that as load and there's my two leads and there's my uh, diode right here and uh, we have this voltage here 2.14 volts uh, uh, across that uh, 1k ohm resistor so that's the flyback we're collecting at this time and this is the uh, scope shot and if we have a look at the scope shot we've got an extremely flat area here and extremely flat top and here's our uh, off the time and this is the flyback diode uh, sending the uh, energy across the 1k ohm resistor and the final ring down and uh, that uh, only happened when I had the uh, two coils uh, connected the way that I have them connected there so you could do that and uh, play with it you flip it one side and you get no effects and then you connect it the other way and you immediately see this extremely clean uh, you know this looks like it's coming out of a single generator basically and that's as well what seems to be happening with the uh, Orbo now I've just uh, changed the uh, time base 
so that you can see a few pulses happening. And what I'll do right now is I'll just pull the plug on it. And if you look, there's hardly any activity. You know, I'll reconnect it now. So it's reconnected. So that was like pretty well, perfectly flat, uh, this line here. And, uh, turn the light back on here. And if you uh, are, uh, uh, when you think about it here as well, I am using only a single monopole rotor. So the idea here as well would be that this side is being hit with north magnets and this side is, would be hit with south magnets. And I believe when I would have a double magnet rotor, I would have about twice the efficiency or twice the RPM or twice the power uh, you know, because this side is still uh, not even being used, though it's electrically connected. So basically what's happening is the, uh, right now at this time, the negative uh, is coming into this coil, and the end of this coil is starting back at this coil here, but this coil is going uh, counterclockwise from this coil here, and there, here, at this point here, this is the positive on this other end of this coil here. So I'm getting some really interesting results that are similar to the Orbo. And one characteristic of the uh, Orbo is that you could just flip the polarity around. And I can do that right now. Uh, I'll connect the negative where the positive was, and now the positive where the negative uh, was and I have that done right now and if we look at our uh, scope shot here we now have a basically a reverse of what we had and uh, as you see the motor is turning uh, perfectly uh, no difference whatsoever uh, a little bit uh, about the same identical flyback uh, at the uh, maybe just slightly more. It's still still uh, increasing in RPM. Um, I don't have it perfectly balanced, you know, in symmetry. I think symmetry will be very important in this. Uh, that's been mentioned before. Um, and there is the uh, current that it's drawing. Uh, pretty similar. It's probably uh, going to drop a little bit when it reaches full RPM. Actually on this side here with the reverse I don't just a little reduction in RPM I find uh, but maybe again that just the symmetry as well so you know I've done nothing I didn't change the position of my uh, switch or anything I just flip the polarities around and it works uh, just as well on the with the polarities going like that I haven't seen anybody uh, do that yet and uh, I don't know if this is uh, a first but anyways, uh, this is very uh, interesting and I'd like to share those results with the uh, other replicators and uh, hopefully uh, this could lead to the uh, secret behind the uh, Orbo uh, coil design or one of the secrets possibly and maybe I don't even have it in the best configuration but I can tell you that I'm getting some, you know, some really clean uh, forms here that I wasn't getting before. I'm just changing the position here of my uh, thing to get it to lock. So there you go. And I can change the time base on that here. Go one notch higher. And there's one pulse right there. Uh, I'll just move my trigger here to get it stable there you go so there you go one pulse and that's with the reverse polarity and uh, that's about all as we have in, in time for today and uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos and uh, hopefully this will uh, be one of the answers to help the replicators with the uh, Orbo we'll talk to you later bye now